Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. The topic of this 10 minute moan is a UN RWA organisation that Hamza Youssef donated £750,000 worth of aid to days prior to his in-laws being released from Gaza. Now, this will be my third video about the topic of the aid from Scotland to Gaza. And in each of them I've mentioned that the UNWRA were probably not as wholesome as people may believe. And I did suggest in both of those videos that I would do a video purely on the UNRWA. And recent incidents with them have driven me to do excuse me to do that video now. Now what's happened is First of all, I need to tell you, UNRWA, the name is United Nations Relief and Works Agency. However, that's not the full title. That's only the initials. The full title is United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East. And I wasn't sure at the time of my first video of this bit of the name that they hide. They, they're there purely to provide, obviously as it suggests, uh, aid to Palestinians. Now, they've had quite a long history of dealing with purely Palestinians, and you can imagine that your staff, even if they were completely neutral before this relationship, before working for the organisation, they would probably become indoctrined with the people of Palestine over the course of time. And this organisation's been in existence for about 60 years. Um, now, in 2022, this organisation received £1 billion of donations. This money from UN member states, the EU, and countries within both, as you know, individual countries, that accounts for 90% of their donations. Now the reason that they've come in to the public eye so much over the last 24 hours is that they've had to sack 12 staff after the Israeli intel revealed vehicles, staff, and buildings were used in the 7th of October terror attacks against Israel, where a four-figure death toll occurred. Now, these had been rumoured for a long time, probably since the 7th of October, to be honest, but it's only in the last 24 hours that this has came to light. And what's happened is, in, in uh, retaliation to that information coming uh, in the public domain, the United Nations WRA have sacked 12 of their workers. Now, I think it's a key here to consider the word they are sacked because what they're saying is they've done this purely to allow their aid to continue in the area unhindered. Kind of makes sense. But if you suspended the staff, or move them out the area, that would not stop you doing what you use as a reason for sacking them. So I think it's fair to assume that they've sacked them because it's true. Right? If they thought it wasn't true, they'd simply remove them from the area or suspend them from their work. And that would allow them to do what they suggest in their, their press release to continue providing aid to the area. Now, the only problem they've got with continuing to provide aid for the area is UK, USA, many EU states and even the Scottish Government have paused all donations to the UNWRA. I mean, there's loads of countries, Canada, Italy, I believe Spain, all over the world. Countries have said, mm -mm, stops. And they've paused it or suspended it, however they want to term it. They'll stop giving these people money until they can learn more. Because you think about what's happened there. These countries have basically then funded a terror strike against Israel. They might not be to blame for that, but you would kind of imagine it's a lot of money. 90% of the monies came from the UN and the EU countries alone. A billion pounds a year. That's a significant amount of money into a war effort. So they've got to do that. And you would imagine if it was proven, they would not be giving them any money while this war continues. Now, oddly enough, the Scottish Government paid £750,000 through two tranches of money 
to Gaza via the UNWRA. On the two videos that I've already done about the topic, we mentioned that. So for them to come out and stop it, you know, it's quite a big statement. However, Tommy Shepard, Tommy Shepherd, another subject covered in one of my previous videos, quite a despicable character that, that represents the SNP for one of the Edinburgh constituencies in Westminster. He's come out and called out the UK government because the UK government were one of the first to come out and say, look, we can't really fund these people much longer. So they've paused it. And Tommy, he took to social media right in there with two feet. User to, to, to this, to, you user know, doing this, basically saying they were wrong. And then, what, maybe half a day later, Scottish government have come out, put out a press release and, you know, stated that they've paused giving money to the UNRWA. Now, this is just new, but I've been saying in the last two videos that the UNR, uh, UNRWA was quite a, you know, iffy organisation to be given money to. Um, but since then, you know, this has come out, has highlighted it. One of the countries, funnily enough, islands came out and said they'll not be joining the rest of these countries in poison. They're going to continue giving, but that's just a by the by. Now, previously, and this is the stuff that I was talking about without getting into full detail uh, in previous videos, as in previous to, to you know the recent um, stuff that came out, the UNWRA schools were called breeding grounds for hate and violence where the UNWRA fund and staff quite a lot of schools. I think that's where most of the people that have been sacked worked in, to be honest with you. And previously, there was 150 instances between 2015 and 2023 where staff had been implicated supporting terror and anti-Semitism. Factual. 82 UNWRA teachers in 30 schools were caught distributing hateful content in their textbooks. The textbooks were actually celebrating known terrorists who perpetrated terror crimes against Jewish people of Israel, therefore anti-Semitic. And at least 14 UNWRA school staff praised the 7th of October atrocities on social media. There might be more, but that was the only ones that they knew about. So this is a group that long before today, as the last couple of days, um, revelations, have been known to fully support Hamas and terrorists in that area. And the Scottish government were quite happy to give them £750,000 of your money as recently as November. And if the Scottish Government weren't aware of facts that I knew about previous stuff going on in the schools and, you know, these people... Now, you think about it, the terror attack was the 7th of October. So since then, people have been well aware of this, 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 the, 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 at least 14 UNWRA school staff celebrating the massacre in Israel. We gave them £750,000 after that. And also before that, there was all these other instances where they had 150 instances over uh, an eight-year period where their staff were um, propagating terror and hate in schools. Now, geez. You go excuse me for a minute, right? But see if I don't know that as a man in the street, that's kind of acceptable. But if you're a Scottish government plying them with funds, that's not acceptable. You should know better. And I don't, you know, I'm, I'm saying that about the Scottish government. I'm also saying that about every other government that's come out and gave them money. These things were known prior to the 7th of October. Then on the 7th of October, there was more information and intelligence to show that all these people that were um, working for the UNWR were actively, you know, um, glad about terror attacks that happened. And as you we've all seen in our screens of horrible things, they, they came out and celebrated. Yet, Scottish Government and a lot of others, to be perfectly honest with you, continued to give them money. And that, my friends, is stinking. So, 
Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Hit some uh, subscribes if you if you so wish, and hit notifications if you're going to do that. And you let me know when more videos come out. There'll be some recommendations in the corner. But as usual, the most important thing of all, have a great day. Bye now.